Modern Warfare 2 is finally out, and this time the new COD takes things to a whole new level when it comes to design, graphics and gameplay, but even with the latest technologies there's still a problem that persists in games and that is low performance, which in Modern Warfare 2 could be an issue on low and medium end PCs. So in today's video I want to give you guys my best settings for Modern Warfare 2 to improve the performance to the maximum while keeping some of the good visuals this game has to offer. So make sure to drop a like and a comment to help with the multi algorithm and subscribe for more. Now let's dig in. First you have to update your windows and all your drivers to the latest version in order to have the best experience possible. And next we're going to do a few windows settings. First you're gonna have to go to the windows search, type in graphics, open graphics settings and turn on hardware accelerated GPU if available. After which you'll browse for a game, add more than offer to as shown in the video and set the performance to maximum. Next we're going to move to some NVIDIA options and here you can right click on the desktop, open NVIDIA control panel, here you want to go to manage 3D settings and add Modern Warfare 2 as shown in the video. I won't go into too many details, just copy the settings that I have as most of them are for increasing performance and for AMD users I'm sorry I don't have an AMD card but setting everything to performance should just do the trick. And now before going to in-game settings, there's another thing to do that is pretty huge when it comes to performance. All you have to do is go to your documents, open Call of Duty, then go to players and then open settings.3. Here you want to scroll down until you find the render worker count and you want to set it to half of how many cores your CPU has. So mine has 8, so I'll set mine to 4 and in case you have 6, you'll want to set this to 3. And after doing that, just under, set the video memory scale to 0.9. Those two things will have a pretty big impact on performance and reduce most of the stutters. In case this makes the game run a bit worse for you, just go back and set everything back to default. And now we're going to move to in-game settings where all the magic happens. But after you open the game, there's another quick thing to do. And that is to open Task Manager, go to Details and find Modern Warfare 2. Right click on it and set the priority to high if allowed. This will again make your PC use most resources on the game and help performance even more. And now for the actual in-game stuff. First, you'll want to go to Display and set the mode to full screen exclusive and the resolution as your desktop so the maximum one. For refresh rate you'll want to use the max available for you and dynamic resolution should be off as this could make the game look really blurry at range but maybe turn it on if you still have pretty big issues. VSync should be off and frame rate in game should be set to maximum while in the menu should be set to 60 because using the GPU in the menu would be pretty much useless so you don't need more than 60 anyways. Other than this, focus mode and HDR should be set to off. If you still encounter stutters, you can opt for a shader restart or optimization. Now for the actual graphics settings, render resolution should be set to 100, but if you have any issues, you could lower that a bit, but keep in mind that this will also lower the clarity of the game and will be a lot blurrier than usual. For upscaling, I like to use Fidelity CAS and set it to 80 as it doesn't affect visuals too much and helps with performance quite a bit. AA should be set to low and video memory scale to 90 or lower depending how much VRAM you have. And next we have textures and here you want to set the texture resolution to low and texture filter to medium or high to keep the range quality somewhat decent. After that set nearby level of detail to low and distal level should be set to high. Clutter draw distance should be short, particle quality low, particle quality level should be set to low as well. Bullet ink pack and sprays I like to keep them on, I don't see any difference between on and off in performance, at least for me, so definitely test this a bit if you're trying to keep it on. Shadow quality low, tessellation all is off as this can really tank performance. Terrain memory set it to minimum and on demand texture streaming should be off. Streaming quality I prefer to keep it normal but this can eat some FPS as well so in case you have any problems set it to low but keep in mind that this can only be done in the menu not while in game. Volumetric quality should be low, physics quality low and last water caustics should be set to off. And now we'll go to the shadows and lighting. And here we have screen space shadows should be set to off, spot shadow quality and spot cache low, particle lighting normal and ambient occlusion and SSR and weather grid volumes always off, this again tanks performance really much. And lastly Nvidia reflex should be set to on if you have an Nvidia graphics card. The rest of the settings so motion blur, depth of field and film grain should be set to off or zero. 
And for the view tab, I like to keep the FOV to the maximum or to 110, but if you have trouble, lower it down to like 100 to 105, so you'll still have a bit of visibility left because if you set it to 90, you'll barely see anything at the sides and that will get you killed quite a lot, especially with Modern Warfare 2 having such a low TDK. And for the weapon FOV, I like to keep it wide as it makes the visibility better and maybe give you a small advantage. Keeping it too narrow will definitely make the gun a lot bigger on your screen, so wide is definitely the perfect choice here. So these are pretty much my best settings when it comes to Modern Warfare 2. I actually did quite a bit of testing and it worked pretty great, so if you have any FPS troubles, definitely give them a go. Now I'll let you guys watch some gameplay with these settings to see how the game works, but I'm not gonna lie, the performance I definitely felt was pretty good, but every match that I played in the beginning for like a few seconds, there's quite a bit of stutters. Maybe that's just me, maybe that's because of the servers, but hopefully that's gonna get fixed soon. Other than that, I feel like the performance is pretty well done and the game is quite optimized. But as always guys, make sure to drop a like and a sub for more content and let me know in the comments if this helped you with performance and how much. For now, thank you all and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video. Ready to deploy. Enemy is taking Delta. Chasing back. Delta secure. Sniper stuck. Throwing in. Bravo. Reloading. UAV is being a fuel. RTB at this time. 